Hello, welcome to our underlying technology video in NetGate's short form video series about Tensor. In this video, we'll cover a high level overview of Tensor's software stack, showing where each open source project fits. This should help more technical viewers who like to get under the hood to see what makes Tensor tick. It also provides an understanding of both our use of and contribution back to open source software. Let's get started. As displayed on Tensor.com, a number of open source projects play a role in making Tensor a high performance software router. Those projects include Vector Packet Processing, Data Plane Development Kit, Clickson, Free Range Routing, StrongSwan, Kia, NetSNMP, Unbound, and CentOS. On the site, we provide a brief rundown of the functional role each project plays in Tensor. But rather than just reel off a list of projects, it's more useful to view each project within the three basic components of telecommunications architecture. They are the data plane, the control plane, and the management plane. The data plane, sometimes referred to as the forwarding plane, is where packets are moved from one interface to another, as well as where additional packet processing and transformation occurs. The control plane carries signaling traffic, which defines what to do with the incoming packets. The management plane provides configuration, management, and monitoring of all parts of the software system itself. With those three planes in mind, let's look at a logical description of Tensor's architecture, which puts each software function into context. Starting at the bottom of the stack, the data plane. Tensor uses VPP and DPDK. VPP propels Tensor to speed gains of up to two orders of magnitude over traditional kernel-based packet processing solutions. For a full explanation and deeper dive into vector packet processing, visit our VPP education page at tensor.com VPP. DPDK provides a set of data plane libraries and network interface controller pull mode drivers that offload TCP IP packet processing from the operating system kernel to processes running in user space. Within Tensor's control plane, you'll find free range routing, which provides Tensor's routing protocol stack, StrongSwan for IPsec key generation and parameter negotiation, Kia for DHCP server functionality, and Unbound, which provides a DNS resolver. Within the management plane, Tensor relies upon Clickson for system management, including a Yang-based configuration manager, interactive command line interface, and a RESTConf interface. RESTConf enables web applications to access Tensor's configuration data, state data, RPC operations, and event notifications. Tensor also incorporates NetSNMP, which enables legacy SNMP monitoring functions to identify devices, monitor network performance, keep track of changes to the network, or determine the status of network devices in real time. Rolling all of these projects within their respective logical planes into a single code base is what makes Tensor special. Users get world-class router software progressed by the best minds in the industry, then developed, tested, and packaged as a commercial product by NetGate, which ensures its readiness for prime-time deployment, complete with all the same illities, and support expertise you'd expect from a proprietary software vendor, just at a far more attractive price. One last point, NetGate believes wholeheartedly in the open source movement, but we are not net takers. Our developers have worked tirelessly and passionately for years to contribute software features and fixes to multiple open source projects. In the case of Tensor, NetGate developers are currently the third largest contributor to FDIO's vector packet processing, right behind Cisco and Intel, two companies substantially larger in size. You can see the actual number of commits by company at stackanalytics.com. This is a testament not only to our commitment to open source itself, but also NetGate's ethos of contributing back our expertise for the good of all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified with every new release from this video series. If you'd like to learn more now or trial our software, visit us at tensor.com.